name pop up on the screen and how you feeling? Ah, uh, it's fun, for sure. Uh, just knowing, like you said, it's my third time. I'm um, saying it pop up the third time, but it's exciting. And I know the guys are excited because, I mean, a lot of those guys haven't been in this position. And so I'm excited for them as well. How much Illinois basketball have you watched this year? <laughs> I watched I watched them on quite a, quite a few, um, especially Tan Shannon. Um, I think I like his game. Uh, I think he's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Played against him, of course. Um, he gets, when he was at Texas uh, Texas Tech, so I've been watching him most of the Do you do you remember anything specifically about Terrence Shannon, or you just kind of remember yeah? I just know his game. His game yeah. has evolved. Um, um, I like to watch basketball, so of course I watched um, I watched a lot of college and I played college, so um, I. Watch, watched um, Illinois overall. Uh, I think they got a solid, solid team for sure. Um, they lost a few guys last year, but I think mean, their their team this year is pretty good for sure. So, the Diva Line SEC teams made in. What do you what do you think about that? And the fact that you you played a, you know, obviously a bunch of NCAA tournament teams in conference play. But how, how does that toughen you guys up for your NCAA tournament? Uh, I think we'll be ready. Um, the SEC is one of the toughest conferences to play in, and so I think um, going into uh, um, the I think the toughness part uh, will be there for us for sure. There have been some years where the SEC didn't, didn't get that, that many teams in. I mean, uh, 15 years ago, so I think we got three. Obviously, it's gotten better. But how good do you, what do you think that says about the league? Uh, that is a, it's, it's extremely um, competitive. Uh, it's a lot of talent. Um, it's a lot of guys that goes from one year, two years in the SEC to, to the NBA. And so it's a lot of talent, and it shows. I mean, you're adding teams like Creighton and San Diego State and Baylor, I think over half, I think maybe 17 out of 33, even I know that's a little over half um, of the teams you've all played around the same tournament teams. What do you think about that? Oh, it just helps us, you know. Uh, if we've seen a team before and we meet up with them, uh, we know what they expect. Um, we, and we know what, how, they, how to counter things. And so um, I think it just helps us overall. Being an older guy on the team, have you talked to the younger guys about what to expect here with the, the tournament? Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, of course, they don't know what to expect. And even some of the new guys, they haven't been in a position, like I said, to be going to March Madness. So, um, yeah, I talked to them and, and told them that it's going to be fun, but it's also going to be tough and it's going to be hard, hard nose basketball. And so, hopefully, I'll um, get to prep uh, right after this and, and start getting to work. You know, last year, you guys got sent to, to Buffalo and then you know, advanced to San Francisco this year. I think Des Moines about a six hour, six and a half hour drive, so it's close to the side. If you win, you're in Kansas City, which is even closer. How, how could you feel about the location of where you all are playing? Um, I think we just got to come ready to play no matter where we're playing. At. Um, we know fans are going to come out for sure to support it no matter where we're playing. So I think if we come ready to play no matter the location, I think it'll be a good, a good scene um, trying to get to that, that final four in Houston. Did you take anything from the past success you've had the past two years? And this year? Yeah, for sure. Um, just I think just going going in, knowing that the game is not going to be easy. Um, you have to fight for it, and it's when to go home. And it's a lot of teams that's not playing right now. And I know a lot of dudes that's um, on teams that's not playing right now, and it's not a good fit. They talk to me about their season and have feels, and so I don't want not just me, but the guys that may may not be coming back to feel the way they are after like. And in a season that could be history um, for the, the University of Arkansas, and so um, we're just going to try try as hard as we can to continue to play on. Eric was talking after the game Friday night that that loss really stung, and he really wanted you know he tell you guys were all disappointed. Um, maybe totally put that one in the back, and just how exciting is it when you have a disappointing loss two days later? You're, you're part of the NCAA tournament. Yeah, um, I still think about it. Um, I think I think about a lot of games still, and, and it's just because I love the game of basketball, and as we all know, Coach Bush does it. He he sleep and, and dream about basketball, and so I mean, it's hard losing, and and like you said, the turnaround is quick. But I think, like you said, it has to it has to be quick, just because, like you said, we're in the NCAA tournament, we have to prepare. I mean, is that a good feeling? You can flush that bad team because you got good wins. Yeah, for sure, for sure. But we know we have to clean up the things that we um that I guess you could say wasn't flawless on it like we like we supposed to have been and so uh, we clean up and from the Texas A&M game we showed that we can play with the, the, the talent um, in, in the SEC and so I think we'll be ready for the Illinois game for sure. Mackay seemed like he had a pretty pretty good time. What do you thought about Mackay's games in Nashville? Maybe how he's coming around? Uh, his stock is growing for sure. Uh, him and his brother. And, uh, I think it'll continue. 
what, what did he do there that you really like? Uh, just just getting on the offensive board, doing all the small things that a lot of people don't see. Um, we, we know he can get the ball in there and, and make a smart decision by kicking it out or doing a post fade or whatever the case may be. But I think the small things helped us with uh, with Makai and his brother. Diva, was it nice to be in an atmosphere like this for the selection show party? Because, you know, you see a lot of teams in different atmospheres, either at their university, but here you're, you know, a lot of fans, you have the band. How nice was it to, to be in this atmosphere tonight? No, it's wonderful um, to get the support for sure. I, um, I, I love it because the younger guys, I think, needs it. You know, I think it helps them, helps the confidence for sure. Um, a lot of the older guys that has transferred in didn't get this. And so I'm glad that um, the Razorback Nation is showing up for the guys that hasn't seen it before. You know, I see guys don't have the record you the last couple of years. You didn't get on a roll in the SEC play quite like you did. But do you feel good this team can still get on a, a, a roll like the last two teams did? Yeah, for sure. Um, it's, it's all about the, the work. The work, you know, I think um, as as we continue to practice and, 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 and get ready for the race, I think it, it just it, it's, it's all about the work that we have put in in the summer. And then that's what it comes down to because – once you get to the elite eight, um, of course I've been there, and it's not it's not about the the body blows and things like that. At that point, it's you got to sometimes put it in God's hand, you know, because everybody exhausted um, when it gets to that point. And so, yeah, I think I think um, I can say that we'll be ready for sure for for whatever is coming ahead of us. Anything else for Devo?